Okay, next question. Uh, let's see where are we. Do your husband or kids ever help with the housework? Yes, yes, they definitely do. My husband um, helps out whenever I need it, and the kids are responsible for cleaning up after themselves and you know their table and if I ask them to help with something I do expect them to help. I have a bit of a control issue and there are lots of times where I think I sort of just step in and do it because I want it done a certain way and so I think that they would probably do even more if I let them <laughs> but uh, yes they do help. What do you think about homemade cleaners? Um, I think it's overall like a wonderful thing. I would love to um, save them money and not use as harsh of chemicals. The biggest problem that I have with them is the smell. I have not found a cleaner recipe that I can stand the smell. I do not like the smell of vinegar at all. Like I cannot stand the smell of vinegar and most recipes require vinegar so until I find a recipe that doesn't have a very strong vinegar and I guess I'm really sensitive to that smell for some reason and I don't know I just pick up on it I've tried even like um, there's a few recipes that I tried that were supposed to really dull the scent of the vinegar and it still was too strong for me. So um, that's kind of my take on it. I would love to do it. I probably would, you know, try to make my own cleaners and stick with that rather than spending the money and using the harsh chemicals, but I cannot stand the smell. So if you guys know of a recipe or if you're like me and cannot stand the smell of vinegar and you have found a recipe that doesn't smell like that, let me know. <laughs> um, let's see. You are very organized. Have you always been that way? And who do you look to for organizing ideas and inspiration? Well, thank you, first of all. And second of all, um, I think I answered this before. I think that I've always had the knack for organization. It's always come naturally to me. It's not something I necessarily struggle with. I think I always sort of think in an organized fashion, if that makes sense. Um, as far as who do I look for for organizing ideas and inspiration? YouTube. Um, YouTube has been a huge help for me. I am a visual person, so seeing other people do things and seeing like their progress and all of that and hearing their stories helps me and motivates me so much. It's real people. You're not necessarily watching a show that has a professional organizer or anything on it. You're watching real people on YouTube and I think that is amazing. Um, so that's probably what I turn to for my motivation and inspiration. Um, let's see here. What do you do to recharge when you're feeling overwhelmed? Um, I honestly remove myself from what's overwhelming me. So if I'm feeling overwhelmed with housework or if I'm feeling like even overwhelmed with the kids or my husband or you name it, if there is something that is really overwhelming me, I need to take a step back for a minute. I mean, there have been times where I've gotten the kids in the car and we go for a drive because the house is driving me insane. I feel like I'm running in circles, trying to pick things up and it's just kids are undoing everything that I'm doing and you know, you can get overwhelmed very easily. And so I think it's important to sort of remove yourself from what is overwhelming you. Take a step away and um, clear your head a little bit. And then I try to ask myself like, why am I getting overwhelmed? And is there something that I can do to change this? So even with my schedule, that's why you're all, I'm always changing my daily routine because sometimes I get overwhelmed with feeling like I have too much on my shoulders. And then I look at my schedule and say, well, if I just change the way I'm going about my day, I will you know, feel a little bit more less overwhelmed. And same thing with the house and the kids. If I'm, you know, sometimes I say to my husband, I need to get out of the house for just a few minutes. Let me go to the store by myself or, you know, and it definitely helps just taking a step away because you can clear your head and then when you go back to reevaluate the situation or to tackle the situation, um, you can kind of, it's almost like seeing it in a new light. Um, so it just helps me to remove myself from what's overwhelming me. And then once I've calmed down or just feeling a little bit less stressed, 
then reapproach the situation and ask yourself why you're feeling overwhelmed, what's causing that, and try to come up with a solution. Um, the next thing, let's see, what is your favorite movie and or TV show? This is really, I don't know why this question was so hard for me, but it was. So, favorite movie. Whew, I would say, I'm not sure. Um, my favorite movie, I have like so many that I really love. I would say It's a Wonderful Life is probably my favorite movie. I absolutely, I would watch that year round. Like I and also, um, The Goodfellas. I don't know why. I just love, I've always loved that movie. And for TV shows, it kind of goes along with The Goodfellas. The Sopranos was one of my favorite TV shows. My husband and I have watched every single episode. We actually own, like, DVD box set of a few series and just absolutely loved that show. Um, and I also loved Sons of Anarchy. I know it sounds kind of crazy, like you might not think that these are shows I would necessarily watch, but um, yeah, I loved those series. Right now, I would say I'm loving the um, Heart of Dixie. I love that show. And my husband and I are watching Nurse Jackie, and we really enjoyed that. So those are probably my favorite movies and TV shows. Um, what is something you do as a homemaker every day that helps you be and do your best? I would say, number one, my routines. I just think having those set routines has helped me so much. I would be completely lost and totally overwhelmed without having those routines set in place. And also planning, as much as it's a hobby for me, and that does help me because having that hobby just for me does help me, I think, be a better um, mom and homemaker. And also just planning for the day, the week, the month, you know, just having a, a sort of general idea of what I want my day to look like or what our week is going to look like um, really helps me as a homemaker and mom. Let's see, next thing. Um, when and why did you start using planners? I sort of answered this before. Um, I started probably two years ago, really getting into like the planner community and why I started. I've always had some form of planning and I just fell in love with the planner community and all the planners that there were out there and the stickers and all of that. So it's just something that is fun for me and also functional. Um, so I really enjoy it. Do you ever feel you are getting overwhelmed by trying to keep up with all the different forms of social media? How do you manage getting all you need to get done and checking into your social media accounts? I always feel as if I'm missing something important, but staying plugged in too much is time consuming. Um, social media is definitely, it can really, uh, it's a, can be a time sucker and it can feel overwhelming. And when I start feeling like that, because I have, I've definitely felt like very overwhelmed with social media. But when I do start feeling like that, I um, try to just take take a step back because um, I don't know. It's, it, I don't think you necessarily can keep up with all the platforms of social media. I don't. <laughs> um, I have a few Facebook groups that I'm involved with and um, I, uh, I have a planner account for Instagram that I enjoy and then obviously YouTube. I've really taken a step back on Periscope. I just couldn't keep up with it. Um, I do like to catch some of my, you know, Periscope girls here and there, but not as much as I could before because I felt like it was too time consuming for me. Um, so yeah, I think just sort of finding a platform, a few platforms that you really enjoy and not necessarily feeling like you have to keep up with all of them. And if you start feeling overwhelmed, just take a step back and um, a little break and then, you know, get out of that habit of always being attached to your phone or, um, you know, that sort of thing. I try to set certain times throughout the day that I can go on social media so that way I don't feel like it's taking up like a ton of my day. All right, guys, so the next question is, have you ever worked outside the home before? If so, were you as organized as you are now? I work outside the home and inside the home as well and find it can be exhausting sometimes. Do you have any tips to help combat the guilt 
when you feel your home may be slacking due to working outside the home. So yes, I have worked outside the home before, um, and I, again, routine sort of kept me organized. Um, however, I didn't necessarily have um, like the afternoon time to get things done, which is a big part of when I get things done is in the afternoon when the kids are napping. So um, I think that I was organized still in a sense, I just did things a little bit differently. So for example, I still had a morning routine which sort of got us prepared for when we got home from work. I did things such as um, you know, just making sure that the house is all cleaned up so that way when we came home we didn't have to spend time doing that. Um, if there was something that had to go in the crock pot, we'd do that. Um, you know, just trying to take the necessary steps in order to come home to a clean house ready for, you know, making dinner and getting the kids ready for bed and all of that. Um, and then in the evening, I had an evening routine which sort of prepared us for the next day. So my, I had um, two kids who were in daycare. I ended up staying home with my kids or deciding to stay home, stay home with my kids when my youngest was about six months old. So I had a four-year-old and a six-month-old and, um, or sorry, three-year-old and a six-month-old. So I was a working mom for about three and a half years uh, until, you know, before I decided to stay home. And I did things in the evening such as getting their bags ready for daycare, and just again making sure that the dishwasher was, um, you know, had been run and cleaning up, you know, um, just general things like that, just getting ready for the next day, laying out our clothes, that's a big way to save time in the morning. Um, just basically trying to keep one step ahead. So in the morning, I tried to get one step ahead so that way in the evenings, it was a little bit more smooth of a transition from coming home and all of that from after work. Um, and then in the evenings, I just tried to get one step ahead for the morning. So um, those routines really did help me stay organized. As far as housework's concerned, I did a lot of my housework on the weekends because I didn't have a lot of time to do it during the week. Um, and I can tell you that in a way, being home, my house gets a lot messier. It's lived in 24 seven. And so I feel like there's a little bit more cleaning that needs to be done now that we're home all the time. We're opposed to when we were working and out of the house for most, I, we would leave the house around seven and didn't get home until about six at night. And, um, you know, so we weren't there to make the messes. Um, but obviously laundry still was a big thing. And I just tried to schedule time out in the, uh, during the weekends to get some of the housework done. As far as the guilt is concerned, I mean, it's definitely very hard to juggle it all when you are not home. Um, and I think that you need to just be realistic with yourself and tell yourself that you're doing the best that you can and um, you're not going to get everything done and that's okay. Just try to prioritize what needs to be done and then if you have time to do the things that you'd like to get done, you can do that. But try just setting yourself up for what you have to do and not necessarily what you want to do. So that way you're getting what you have to do done and then if you don't get to the things that you necessarily wanted to do that didn't have to get done, that's okay. Um, it's hard working outside of the home. It definitely is hard. And, um, you know, don't feel guilty about not getting everything done. It, I didn't get everything done. I didn't have these organizing projects that I took on. Um, you know, I definitely was sort of just doing more of the bare minimum and you, that's okay too. That's totally fine. You have to set realistic um, goals for yourself and realistic to-do lists for yourself um, with the time that you're given. So yeah, that's sort of how I dealt with working outside of the home. Um, how old am I? I am 20. I just turned 29 in December. So this is my last year in the 20s. <laughs> um, if you could only keep one makeup product, what would it be? I had the hardest time thinking about this. So um, I, I do like makeup. I really I put makeup on every single day. And to pick one thing, I don't know. I'm not sure. I would probably have to say 
<sighs> hmm. Maybe mascara? I don't know, because I think when I, even when I don't necessarily have time to get completely ready, if I put mascara on and a little bit of like um, lipstick or, you know, even a lip gloss, I feel a little bit better, like more done, but um, I don't know. That's a really hard one. There's, I can't necessarily think of like just one because I sort of have like a process and they all are very important components about getting ready to me. So I don't know. I would maybe go with mascara. I'll go with mascara. Who do you watch on YouTube? I watch a ton of people on YouTube. I would say that some of um, the people that I've really connected with and um, where I've started out on YouTube, like I didn't really even realize that YouTube was a thing, like that, you know, what YouTube was all about. I thought people posted funny pictures and went viral and that was what YouTube was. And when I became a stay-at-home mom is when I sort of needed YouTube to, um, I, I didn't know a ton of stay-at-home moms, so I really wanted to find other people who were doing what I was doing and see how they did it, and I found YouTube. And the first person I found on YouTube was Cass from, she's organized Clutterbug now, but she was Malato79, and I absolutely fell in love with her. I have watched all of her videos, like I don't think there's one that I've missed. And she was, I don't think that she realizes like how much help she was for me. I mean, she really just totally helped me transition from being a working mom to a stay at home mom and still continues to help me to this day. Um, I actually have reached out to her. We are actually like, we talk now and it's like crazy to me because she was like my fan. I was like a fan girl of her. And so it's like crazy that um, I don't know. I, I put her right up there with like Madonna. Like she's my Madonna. Um, so anyways, I started watching her. I also, um, obviously you guys know, connected with Samantha from Happily a Housewife. I love Sam. She, her and I just, I don't know. We have a lot in common and we just sort of had this connection and, um, we are friends and, I don't know, I just really love, I love her channel. Her channel is kind of why I continued to stick around with YouTube, but I watch so many guys. I can't even begin to list them off. I just, I have a long, long list of people that I love on YouTube. All right, next question. How did you get started doing YouTube? I started um, by, all of these YouTubers have just totally motivated me, especially Cass from Organized Clutterbug. Um, she has helped me so much and I remember thinking if I can help one person like she has helped me I would be like that would just mean so much to me and so I remember the first videos that I did were terrible quality I literally just picked up that I wouldn't necessarily recommend that uh, I would maybe invest in like a little bit better of a camera or even your iPhone I guess I mean I was using like this really bad quality phone and my videos were kind of not the best quality in the beginning but I basically just wanted to get my message out there like if there was something that was working for me I wanted to sort of like pass it on because there are so many youtubers who helped me tremendously and I wanted to just be able to do the same for someone else so um, I basically just did it <laughs> one day I just wanted to start making a video and I just did it I never would have imagined that my channel has would grow into what it is now or I even make the connections that I have through YouTube um, I just absolutely lo love this community. Um, but how did I get started? Just basically, like I said, just wanting to pass it on. And I literally just picked up a phone and just started filming. Um, so I don't know. I'm sure there's a much better way to get started than I did, but that's kind of how I got started. Do you ever have lazy and unproductive days when nothing is accomplished? What is your biggest pet peeve when it comes to your home's cleanliness and organization? Yes, I definitely have lazy and unproductive days, definitely. And honestly, I hate them. I do not like, I realize sometimes I'll complain to my husband, like I just wish I had have a day where I just did nothing. But then like that day will come where, you know, we have a jammy day and 
really don't have much going on, so I just kind of lounge around the house. And I hate it. I think I am just one of those people who needs to be doing something. Um, so yes, I definitely have those days, and I don't love them. Um, let's see. What is your biggest pet peeve when it comes to your home's cleanliness and organization? Definitely when people don't pick up after themselves, my family members. I cannot stand. We have. I have worked very hard to um, create an organized home where things have a specific place and a place that they belong and it drives me insane when my family members just come home and just toss their stuff all over the place and leave it there. It takes two seconds to put it where it belongs but yet they just leave it there and then it's like either I end up putting it back or it ends up sitting there for the longest time until they do. It's just that's my biggest pet peeve by far. Um, let's see. How do you help with your children's schoolwork? And what is our what is your after school routine like? Um, so we had established early on that homework gets done right after school. I think it's so much easier for the kids if you can just get it done. Um, and so basically what we do is after school, I do have the daycare and I do have a child who um, comes after school to my daycare. And so him and my son, right after school we have snack, and then while we're eating snack we get out our homework, and the younger kids are actually at the table as well. So that way I can be helping the older kids with their homework if they need it, and the younger kids are doing like table time. So I'll have worksheets out for them, coloring books, a little art project, something like that. So that way we're all at the table, I'm not chasing other kids while trying to help them, um, and that just works for us. So just being consistent with, you know, as soon as we get home, I have snack on the table and then we take out our bags and our homework and just get it done. And that has been working out really well. I think it's just, for me, I didn't necessarily always establish that when I was going to school. Sometimes I'd come home and then I'd wait until later to do my homework. And I think it was a lot harder to do it that way. So I really wanted to establish a homework routine early on. So that's kind of how we do that. Um, what is your best time management tip for a working mom? I Again, routines. I think that you need to look at your schedule and figure out maybe a morning routine and an evening routine that can get you one step ahead for the morning routine will get you one step ahead for the evening and the evening routine will get you one step ahead for the morning. I think that those are the best that was kind of what I did and it just helps tremendously just staying one step ahead um, and you know as far as time management just looking at your schedule and scheduling in um, when you're going to get those things done because it's easy to say okay this is when I what I have to do this week but unless you actually schedule it into your schedule even when you're working um, you still have you know sometime in the morning sometime in the evening and you just need to make the most of that time. So prioritize and schedule the things that you have to do into those times. Um, and also, you know, I think taking advantage of the weekends, not that everybody wants to be doing housework on the weekends, but maybe like if you know that you're super busy during the week, don't try to schedule things that you can't possibly do um, because then you will start feeling like guilty and, um, you know, unproductive. But um, yeah, that, those are my best time management tips for me is to just really take a look at the time that you have before and after work and take advantage of um, you know creating a schedule and a routine within that time. Um, what is your favorite thing about YouTube? I kind of mentioned this before. My favorite thing about YouTube is that it's real people behind the camera. Um, it's somebody that is sitting like me, I'm here in my dining room, I'm not in a fancy studio, I'm not being told what to say, I don't have a script or anything like that. It is real and I love that aspect of it. I think it's just very genuine. You cannot find that on TV or anything like that. Even reality TV shows, come on, it's not reality. And so I think that's what I love about YouTube. I also love the connections that I've made through YouTube. I have made some amazing friendships through YouTube and um, 
and just you guys, you guys are awesome. Your comments, your support, I mean, it means the world to me. You have no idea how good it makes me feel that um, when I hear your com or read your comments and I hear how I've helped you guys, that is exactly why I started doing YouTube was because I have received so much help through videos and to hear that I'm doing the same for somebody else is amazing. It's amazing. So I just, I love YouTube as a whole. I really do. Um, and last question, how do you manage to squeeze in some time to put your makeup on? Um, it really doesn't take me a ton of time to get my makeup on. And for me, getting up in the morning, even if it means having to get up maybe a half an hour earlier to get a shower in and have enough time to put makeup on and get dressed, really sets the tone for the rest of the day. If I wake up and can get myself ready and feeling good, it sets the tone. It's sort of like I'm ready to take on the day and I'm feeling good about it and it's just definitely um, something that I really want to do for myself because it does kind of put me um, on the right foot for the rest of the day. So I think you just you know, like I said, maybe I wouldn't have to get up at seven, you know, until seven o'clock, let's say on the weekdays, um, if I didn't want to put on makeup, but I'll get up at 6.30 to make sure I can squeeze in a shower and get my makeup done before, you know, my day really starts. It just really does help me um, take on the day on a positive note. So that's it guys, I stuck around for this whole video. Thank you so much. I know it was a really super long video, but I really wanted to get um, a chance to answer all of your questions because I really appreciate you all so much. And I hope you were able to learn a little bit more about me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you soon and have a great day.